Simon is still a married man. His situation is worse to me than cheating. Clearly, we have a big ass misunderstanding right now. Uh, Please so don't use I, that language. He's cheating in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> the woman was too stunned to speak. It's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video. And since y'all keep asking for it, let's talk about how Portia Williams and Simon must be hot sauce mad right now because Portia's ex Dennis and his mama are definitely stealing the show and using this housewife spinoff to get in their bag. Give me a break. Now, before we get started sipping this tea, go ahead and like this video, click that subscribe button, and you already know you want to hit that bell button so you officially join me and my binge watchers and are first to get updates about binge worthy videos like this. So I think you really should do that and not wait. Now, I gotta be honest with y'all. Morale was definitely down by the time Portia's Family Matters episode two and three came around. And I thought that y'all wouldn't really notice me skipping out on a week or two quietly, but y'all did not play with me, hunting me down to watch this episode. And I'm really glad y'all did because it has definitely been Mama Gina for me. If I can just say something. Say it, girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, I love this cute little scene when everybody was getting all all in their feelings. What you so emotional about? No, it's, it's happy tears. I love Dennis and I love the family life that Simon would want to have for my daughter. And I thought that it was really cute how Portia's grandma had everyone crying when she was letting everyone know how important family is to her. I cherish family and I love family. We love you, grandma. Oh my God, y'all are awesome crybabies. But Grandma definitely started clicking down when she decided to keep it a little bit too real. I don't see why any of us should have an issue because they like ladies. Hold on, hold on. And Mama Gina was not having it. You know what? All men love ladies. Oh, no, but I didn't. I, no, 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 no. OK? Ladies, don't y'all take this the wrong way. She said, now look. I done let y'all run around here making a fool of my son long enough, but we ain't selling that many damn hot dogs for all this, so I got to speak up. <laughs> Grandma Iona was out of line. Simon is still a married man. His situation is worse to me than cheating. <laughs> and I... <laughs> He's cheating in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Wait a minute now. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mama Gina. Now, are you turning the scene? Lies, lies, and more lies. Not you out here getting Bravo to order a couple more episodes of this commercial to see how all this mess plays out that you just created. What? in the entire heck has just happened. Y'all, did Mama Gina understand the assignment or was she out of line? Comment right now and let me know. Now, they may as well call this show Portia's girls trip or family trip because I feel like that's pretty much what this is. And honestly, before this series, we really didn't know that much about Portia's family at all. But we can honestly say now that Portia's whole family is funny as hell and they know how to come through with the shade. With Portia's Aunt Liz <laughs> talking about Simon and she just left me <laughs> in tears almost. I was really glad to leave Mama Gina. We can be friends. We're about the closest in age on this trip, other than Simon. Yo! Whoa! Whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, all right. I was shocked, honey. I was in tears, almost. Yo, Aunt Liz didn't just understand the assignment. She created the assignment, and she came through for extra credit. And Bravo's petty ass editors loved every minute of it. Here we go. 
Now, before I dive into this segment about Portia almost snapping on Dennis's mom, I definitely am feeling, you know, a little bit of holiday spirit. So I think this is a great time to tell you guys about today's sponsor. Atlas VPN is a tool that encrypts your data and hides your virtual location. I've been working with them for a while now, and y'all know that I've been trying to tell y'all that this really is the way to tell hackers, advertisers, and internet service providers to mine their business. And honestly, if you're like me, spending so much time browsing the web and filling up your online carts right now, then you really should be using a VPN. All you have to do is open Atlas VPN and select the country where you want to unlock those lower prices and geo-restricted content in any geographical area. And the best part is Atlas VPN is also supported on any device. And y'all can just call me Santa because I recently secured this amazing holiday deal for my binge watchers so we can grab this huge discount on their three year deal for just $1.39 a month. Plus, we'll get three months free with a 30 day money back guarantee. Now this deal is only good for the holidays. So while you're out there getting gifts for everybody else, your mama, your sister, your boyfriend, your side chick, <laughs> or side dude. Where they do that at? Go ahead and treat yourself by clicking the link in the video description below. Thank you Atlas VPN for being a whole vibe in sponsoring today's video. Now, when I said in my first review video that Porsche's spinoff was giving me big Telenova vibes, I didn't realize just how crazy things would get. And I feel like I foresaw a scandal coming, but I didn't think it would be involving Dennis's mom. I mean, for the most part, I feel like we all thought that she was completely unproblematic until now. You got a crystal that wards off fake people? Oh, man. We actually do. Yes, it's right here. Who you brought them for? Portia. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, uh, apparently she has a bit of a love-hate relationship with Portia Williams and it's just so clear to me that there is so much tension here. And I already know that if you watch the episode, you could feel the energy building and you know that things got a little bit crazy. I'll be honest, be honest. You won't even let me talk to get it out. I'm just okay. okay. I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. When my grandmother is speaking, that's her truth. You happen not to have liked it. Don't fight me, because I know how you girls like to tussle. However, I will ask you in the future to not change your tone with my grandmother. You not? You were getting a little disrespectful with her. Yeah, because she was rude and no, disrespectful not, hold on, to wait, my hold son. On, not yet, cuz. I'm serious, y'all. For a second, I really had to like brace myself because it felt like Portia was about to jump on Miss Gina. And when things kind of smoothed down, things went right back going to being crazy again because Miss Gina actually alleged that Portia Williams might have cheated on Dennis while they were engaged. And those are like fighting words or like fighting allegations. <laughs> At the very least, it's inappropriate if it's not like 100% true. When Dennis and Portia were kind of on the outs, Diane and I had some conversation and, you know, she just simply referred to the relationship that Portia had with this gentleman that probably upset Dennis. Lies, lies, and more lies, and lies on top of lies. And y'all, I love a good storyline, and I might even be a messy producer when I, first, when I start producing my little shows. But, Miss Gina, girl. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. We the people have already peeped game and most of us feel like this whole family is in on this scheme to cut the fool for a couple of episodes. And you know, they got this, they got flued out for this little trip and everybody gets to walk away with a little bit of clout and a post dated check. But my goodness, are we really out here trying to turn mothers against daughters? Yo, this is weird. Yeah, Miss Gina, girl. 
I was rooting for you, girl. Even when social media was like, you know, going hard about your glam confessional look, I was still rooting for you, sis. I'm, I'm not liking that. <laughs> but if you made all of this up for a storyline to get back at Portia for something that we don't even know happened off camera, it's getting weird and you're doing a little bit too much, you know, respectfully. Yeah, I got you. can't do it. I can't. You are stressing me the hell out. I stress you. I can't. You I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm done. But she is innocent and so proven guilty, so we just gonna have to keep watching so we can see. Comment right now. <laughs> But in the meantime, comment right now and tell me, what do you guys think about Portia's Family Matters, episode two and episode three? Do you guys think that Miss Gina was telling the truth with her whole chest? Or do y'all believe that producers might have gotten her ear and she was just sticking to her script? Portia's Family Matters premieres Sunday nights only on Bravo at eight or nine o'clock. I don't really know what time it premieres because I don't really be watching it live, but I do be catching it on the DVR. And you know, that's the best I can do because it ain't like this is sponsored video. No, you're the one that's upset. I'm not upset. Do I look upset too? <laughs> or at least it ain't like this video is sponsored by Bravo. <laughs> You know, sometimes if you blink hard, you can blink them back. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I know that I'm running a little late here with this tea, but I'm working on something really exciting that will hopefully make up for the small delay. And I also cannot leave this video without thanking our sponsor, Atlas VPN, one more time for making this video possible. Oh. Be sure to check out the link in the video description below to get your huge discount on their three-year deal for just $139 a month, plus three months free for their amazing holiday deal. Thanks again for watching this video. I will see y'all on the next one. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> it's giving ho, ho, ho vibes. You know, you know, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas! <laughs>